Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to the seventh day of two weeks of Elizabeth Gaskell. Today I'm going to be talking about Elizabeth Gaskell's Ruth. Chapter 1. The Dressmaker's Apprentice at Work. There is an assize town in one of the eastern counties which was much distinguished by the Tudor sovereigns and, in consequence of their favour and protection, attained a degree of importance that surprises the modern traveller. So Ruth is a full-length novel by Elizabeth Gaskell and it was first published in 1853. It is my eighth favourite thing by Elizabeth Gaskell. I do love it very, very much. I love everything by Elizabeth Gaskell very, very much. And as I think I've already said from here and out, I love all of these books a great deal and would highly recommend them, even if I don't love them quite as much as some of the other Elizabeth Gaskell books that I'll be talking about in the week to come but Ruth is a truly wonderful book and one I highly recommend. Before I go into the things that I love about Ruth, I want to give a brief overview of the plot. I have referred to Ruth previously as like Tess of the D'Urbervilles were it written by someone who had belief in the world and I do kind of think that Ruth is a bit like that. It has a fairly similar setup to Tess of the D'Urbervilles, though I should say it was written some time before Tess of the D'Urbervilles. We meet our heroine Ruth when she is a young dressmaker's apprentice. She is I think 15 or 16, she's very young and naive, she's an orphan and she takes the fancy of a gentleman who lives nearby. She befriends this man not thinking very much of it but when the woman she works for spots her with this young man and thinks that this is scandalous and appalling and dismisses Ruth. Things start to go wrong. A young man persuades Ruth to run away with him and everything kind of goes on from there. It is what I suppose the Victorians would have called a fallen woman novel but it is absolutely brilliant. Like I said it has some similarities in plot to Tess of the D'Urbervilles but I think it is a less melodramatic and a less depressing read and one I would highly recommend. It's fascinating in terms of gender, in terms of class, in terms of issues of respectability and morality and religion and I think it is a really really wonderful read. So the stuff that I love about Ruth there are many. Firstly I find Ruth a really interesting character and I love that in this book we follow her over a long period of her life and we get to see a lot of her changes, especially because we follow her from her teenage years up until she is an adult. We get to see so much of her life and how she develops as a person. What I love about Ruth is how much we see her grow in her strength and her belief in herself and her belief in other people and her belief in goodness, her belief in God as well and how all of these things develop to change her as a person. I also adore the Bensons, a family that Ruth spends a lot of time within the book. They are a brother and sister, they are both absolutely wonderful, fascinating characters. I really enjoy their personalities and their relationships with Ruth and the tenderness and affection they feel for her. They're really enjoyable characters to read about and I love the kind of surrogate family setup that Ruth forms with them and with their servant Sally. Sally in Ruth is the funniest person in Gaskell in my opinion. She has some wonderful, wonderful lines. She is absolutely hilarious and her mixture of kind of spite and sarcasm and love is just wonderful and splendid and I think she is such an enjoyable character to read. Another thing I think is worth mentioning is that Mr Benson is a character with a disability. I've already mentioned earlier this week how for me Gaskell is one of the Victorian authors that explores disability in the Victorian period in the most interesting way and I think the way she looks at Mr Benson is very very interesting. It's the first time Ruth meets Mr Benson she is with someone else and the other person looks at Mr Benson and sees someone who's disabled and someone who is not worth his time but Ruth looks at him and looks at his face and sees someone kind. A lot of Victorian authors resort to stereotypes when exploring characters with disability but Elizabeth Gaskell is really not one of them and Mr Benson is a wonderful wonderful character. I also enjoy the Bradshaws who are a wealthy family who live nearby that Ruth and the Bensons have a lot to do with. I think that they're a really interesting family and especially the father's plotline I find very interesting in terms of dealing with issues of judgment and morality. Gaskell uses the Bradshaws plotline to explore how people can be quick to judge others and forget to judge themselves. I think there are so many interesting things going on there and I love Jemima Bradshaw. She is another very very funny character as well and actually considering that Ruth, like many Gaskell novels, does deal with some very weighty topics, it does also have its lightness and its humour as well in a way that I think is thoroughly enjoyable. It also explores a lot of wonderful themes, obviously themes of sexuality and morality and of sexual morals in the Victorian period, ideas of reputation and a women's position in society and especially the fragility of a woman's reputation within Victorian society is really really important in Ruth and is really really interestingly explored. Religion is also an incredibly important theme in Ruth both in terms of individual and personal religion in Ruth but also in terms of sort of church politics and dissenters versus the Anglican church. The Bensons and the Bradshaws go to a non-conformist church and the book deals interestingly with the differences between Anglicanism and non-conformist groups and also looks at the kind of divide between people who go to Anglican churches and people who go to non-conformist churches 
churches. For example, Sally, who is the servant of the Bensons, goes to the Anglican church, whereas they don't, and she therefore likes to declare her moral superiority to everyone quite regularly. A lot of the book is about prejudice and people's liability to judge other people based on their past, based on their class, based on their situation and behaviour, and based on things that they don't know the full story of. It also looks at people's unawareness of the effect of their actions on others in a way that I think is really interesting. It's less epic than Tess of the Dubbills as a novel, but I think it takes a similar theme and deals with it in what I personally find a more interesting manner. I really, really enjoy Ruth and I would highly, highly recommend it. In terms of why it's not higher up on this list, it did take me slightly longer to get into than some of Gaskell's other novels, but I think the main reason why I feel like I have a slight distance between me and Ruth as a book is just to do with the way it deals with religion. In Ruth, the main exploration of morality is to do with religion. The idea that Ruth can be good because God forgives her, rather than because she forgives herself, or rather than because she hasn't done anything wrong. The message that the Bensons and the book gives is for Ruth to trust to God rather than to trust to herself, and I know that is what the book is about, and I really always enjoy Gaskell's exploration of religion. I find religion a very, very interesting theme in Victorian novels, but in general I would say I'm more interested in Victorian novels that explore church politics than explore religious spirituality. And I think that's partly just because I'm not religious, and so I always feel like I have this kind of bad when I read Ruth. When I read Ruth, what I want out of it is an exploration of morality that is not entirely bound up in religion, but I think that would be a different book. And one of the things that is really interesting about Ruth is that exploration of religion and how religion helps Ruth through her life. But although religion is a big theme in most Gaskell novels, I would say that Ruth is the one where it does feel the most present, and I do think that's probably the reason why it's not higher up on this list. But as I said, that is a very personal reaction. I still think it's an incredible, wonderful, brilliant novel, and if you have read Tesla Dubbles, which a lot of you may have, then I would highly recommend reading Ruth because I think it's very interesting as a point of comparison. More than all, I would highly recommend Ruth. It is a really interesting read and a really great Gaskell novel. Please let me know down in the comments if you've read Ruth and what you thought of it, and I'll be back tomorrow to talk about another Gaskell book.